Software will become one of the most important differentiating factors long term in the car industry. At a certain point in time, things that are very important now, like electric vehicle range, may hit a plateau, and Tesla's remaining competitors will likely eventually catch up in this area. But, similar to how iPhone's thinness used to be an important selling point for Apple at a certain point, consumers are no longer impressed with an even thinner phone, and there's a shift towards high-quality software being the high-order bid. So today we are going to look at Tesla's capability of adding new amazing features for its customers by simply over-the-air software update. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla already has a massive lead in software, as they've not only been refining it since day one, but they developed almost all of the software that goes into their vehicles themselves, while other companies outsource heavily. It's been reported that Volkswagen for example, only writes about 10% of its software and therefore has much less control over the end-user experience and features that can be put into the vehicle. Tesla is one of the only automakers that is able to update not only things like the infotainment system, but also firmware as well, using over-the-air software updates. Firmware refers to the software that tells a device how to function and is usually written by the manufacturer. There are many different components within a vehicle, and if all of these components are completely outsourced, then the automaker has very little control over the software that they run. Tesla is highly vertically integrated, and they're able to consolidate all of the vehicle's components in such a way that they have full control over their capabilities through software. In the past, Tesla has been able to modify things, like the car's braking distance, using an over-the-air update. They can do things, like improve how the car drives, changing the car's powertrain system, improving battery efficiency, refreshing mapping information for navigation, and of course, adding new features on the fly. It can even update functionality related to interacting with infrastructure, such as Tesla's supercharger stations, all over the air. Competing brands appear to talk a big game on how they see the world being connected and other popular buzzwords and describing features that Tesla has already had for a decade to make them seem like they're still relevant. But most of these competitors don't have established software teams and they're still working on trying to ship an electric car at scale. As a matter of fact currently, if you try to buy a car at a dealership, they will try to upsell you or throw in a USB stick containing the car's navigation maps. If you want updated maps, say in a couple months or a year from now, you will have to go back to the dealership and buy an overpriced USB stick with more current maps. Let us know in the comments if you've ever had to pay and how much it cost for a software update on a non-Tesla vehicle, even for older vehicles, for which the software does basically nothing in terms of the user experience. From first-hand experience, dealerships charge hundreds of dollars to update manufacturer bugs, such as an LED icon, lighting up at the wrong time. Now Tesla is not only able to do software updates over the air, but they're consistently updating the vehicle long after it's been purchased, adding new features, improving efficiency, and really making it worthwhile for the customer. This makes a lot of sense for Tesla as well, because they continue improving their product, which makes it more compelling for new buyers, and they can give their software away for free to current owners as a major perk. Tesla can also sell premium services, things such as premium connectivity, acceleration boosts, and full self-driving capabilities, and will likely add more in the future. These add value to certain consumers and can increase Tesla's bottom line. However, besides these handful of features, all of Tesla's software updates are free and are easy to update over the air, just as updating an app on your phone. Now, competitors aspire to do the same thing. General Motors for instance, believes that its customers are willing to spend $135 per month on additional products and services. According to TechCrunch, they offered 45 different feature and service options to consumers and were pleased to see consumers choose packages with 25 of them. 
Actually in Tesla's earlier days, when buying a vehicle, there used to be a larger number of options to choose from, such as higher-end speakers, or the winter package for example, Tesla has since simplified the buying process, and each vehicle includes almost all of the features from the start, with minimal customization, which greatly speeds up the ordering time and reduces customer frustration. While it's going to take a massive amount of effort for competitors to build up software teams to implement their aspirational features, Tesla is already giving away most of their features for free. It's going to be very difficult to compete with free, even though GM believes that charging for its vehicle's features will sum to a Netflix-sized business. Now in time for the holidays, Tesla just dropped its new version 11 release, packed with a variety of new features, from entertainment to new controls, to safety. Tesla says that this is their biggest holiday release yet. Now Tesla starts off by releasing a Tesla light show feature and documentation for hooking up a computer to create your own custom light show, with detailed instructions on how to set this up on Tesla's GitHub account. You can even download light shows from other creators and use them in your Tesla vehicle. Tesla is also updating the user interface for Model S, 3, X and Y vehicles that have an Intel processor to attain a fresh look using elements from their newer Model S and X layout. This includes a customizable app launcher, simplified controls menu, and support for dark mode. It should also be noted that Tesla recently made the switch from Intel Atom processors to AMD Ryzen chips in the infotainment system in their newer models. At the same time, Tesla is also adding a cleaner look to navigation, which allows you to hide map details and to reorder multiple stops en route. Waypoints is something that Tesla finally put into their software that consumers have been begging Tesla to do for some time. I really want waypoints. Okay, does everybody here want waypoints? Yeah! Okay, fine, we'll do waypoints. It allows for planning multiple stops along the way to a destination. Tesla is improving this feature with the current update to automatically update arrival times and battery levels for each destination, which may be useful for adding supercharger stops along the way. And now while stopped, owners can play the original Sonic the Hedgehog, along with various new games that Tesla has added with this update. In terms of apps, TikTok is now accessible from the center screen, and Tesla added its new boombox megaphone, so that you can talk through the car's external speakers, which in addition to a better audio experience, may have some useful applications as well. Excuse me, you dropped something. In terms of safety features, a live camera view of the vehicle's blind spot will now show up on screen when signaling to change lanes or making a turn. In addition, Tesla's Sentry Mode Live Camera Access, which allows the camera to be viewed from the Tesla app on your phone, will now be available in all of North America, whereas previously was only available in US and in the majority of Europe as well. What's amazing about Tesla is how seamlessly they're able to interact with the hardware capabilities of the vehicle and make improvements. Tesla has a new feature called Comfort Suspension, when an autopilot allows Model S and X vehicles to have adaptive air suspension to automatically adjust for highway cruising. Furthermore, cold weather features can now be activated from within the Tesla app even at a lower state of charge. This includes cabin preconditioning and heated charge ports. Model 3 and Y include automatic seat heaters to be adjusted based on climate control settings. Now Tesla includes a breakdown of each feature by model, and some features are also country dependent. It's interesting how many features the company continues to add every week or so, other automakers aren't even thinking about making these kinds of software improvements, since they're still having trouble getting their EVs on the road, or they don't own the software, or have the capabilities to even begin looking at becoming a software company. Tesla makes a point to note that they're the pioneers of in vehicle over the air updates, they invented it, and they continue to push free updates to their users in order to continue making Teslas the most fun car you'll ever have. So if Tesla is 5 to 10 years ahead of the competition, 
in terms of software and over-the-air updates, not to mention connectivity, with things like superchargers, which is a very large moat, given the size of their charging network, how long do you think it will take competitors to catch up to where Tesla is today? And by the time they do, where do you think Tesla will be, when or if that happens? That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.